everyone, welcome back to our video, Yulan's channel of neuroscience. And today we'll be focusing, of, um, focusing on learning disabilities. So we'll cover what is it, what are some common types, types uh, what are some like common treatments, and for example, like assistive, assist, assistive technology, and etc. So please watch this, watch this video if you're interested. So, learning disorders, often referred to as learning disabilities, are complex and diverse conditions that affect the way individuals acquire, store, and process information. These disorders can manifest in various forms impacting reading, writing, and mathematics, or even broader cognitive functions. While learning disorders present significant challenges, they also offer unique perspectives and strengths for those who experience them. This lecture explores learning disorders, delving into their definitions, common types, assessments, and strategies for support and, and, empower, and empowerment. Oops, sorry. Um, so understanding, what is it? So brain is not working properly to use neural ways to process information and perform certain cognitive tasks. A majority of kids with learning disorders may have average or above average intelligence. Some common learning disorders affect children's ability to read, socialize, write, do calculations, properly use or understand language, learn other skills that don't involve words, and more. The top five most common learning disabilities and their related symptoms will be discussed, including dyslexia, ADHD, dyscalculia, dysgraphia, and dyspraxia. So no, number one, dyslexia, one of the most well-known learning disorders, which affects a person's reading and language processing disabilities. Individuals experiencing dyslexia may reverse the position of letters, have difficulties with uh, phonological awareness, such as breaking down words into their constituent sounds, struggle with reading comprehension, have delayed speech, have difficulty learning new vocabulary or rhymes, um, and understanding directions, which all affect spelling, copying from text, proofreading, and reading comprehension. The second one is ADHD, which is also which abbreviates for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is a neurodevelopmental condition that hinders an individual's capacity to maintain focus, regulate impulsi impulsivity, and manage hyperactivity. While it can affect people of all ages, it's most commonly diagnosed in children making it the second most prevalent learning disability. In the United States, over 6 million children have received an ADHD diagnosis. ADHD can create challenges in concentrating, leading to disruptions in a classroom environment. Unfortunately, children with ADHD often face discipline for behaviors they struggle to control. When left untreated, it can disrupt academic and social success, potentially impacting relationships and deployment prospects. Common symptoms include difficulty staying still, disorganization, forgetfulness, impulsivity, and mood swings or emotional outbursts. It's essential to recognize and address ADHD to provide individuals with the support they need to fulfill their lives. And then we have this calcula sorry, this calculia. As the name suggests, it's kind of um, connected to calculate, which is about like math. So you can infer that um, this calculia affects an individual's ability to understand math concept, concepts, perform arithmetic calculations, and solve math problems. Some common symptoms of this calculia are struggling with mathematical concepts, such as measuring, timing, and es estimating. Being not sure of how to, do how to do basic math problems, having difficulties following the order of operation, and finding a challenging new count and group members together. And fourth, we have dysgraphia, which affects an individual's ability to write, which could be caused by neurological conditions, developmental delays, or difficulty with fine motor skills. Individuals experiencing dysgraphia could have difficulty with written expression, have messy handwriting, take a long time to write, struggle, with express, struggle to ex express thoughts in a clear sentence structure, and have difficulty, difficulties organizing pages, chapters, books, and more. And finally, the last type we'll introduce here is dyspraxia, often known as Developmental Coordination Disorder, DCD. It's a neurological condition impacting both fine and gross motor skills. It hampers an individual's ability to plan, execute, ta ex ex execute tasks in order, and process movement information. This disorder stems from the brain's processing issues related to coordination. And now we are taught, we'll begin um, the section on identification and assessment. 
Identifying learning disorders is a complex process that involves comprehensive assessments and observations. There are some signs that may indicate the possibility of having learning disabilities in children. During the preschool years, children naturally reach various developmental milestones, but some may face challenges that warrant attention. If the parents have noticed the children struggling with pronunciation, word retrieval, rhyming, or learning foundational concepts, it's essential to be vigilant. Issues with concentration, peer interaction, following instructions, and fine motor skills like handling pencils, crayons, or scissors could also be observed. Early recognition of these challenges allows for time, timely support and interventions to help the child thrive. And finally, here are some effective interventions for learning disabilities. Addressing learning disabilities necessitates a collaborative approach involving various professionals, including therapists, psychologists, coaches, and mental health professionals, to provide comprehensive support in, and interventions. By working together, these individuals can ensure a consistent and effective approach to intervention. Multisensory instruction and an evidence-based method engage multiple senses to enhance learning and accommodate different learning styles. Assistive technology, including text-to-speech software and specialized reading aids, empowers individuals to overcome learning barriers. Individualized education programs, IEPs, are tailored plans outlining specific goals and support services. Cognitive behavior therapy, CBT addresses emotional challenges related to learning disabilities by modifying negative thoughts and behaviors. This collaborative and multifaceted approach fosters academic su success and overall well-being. So here comes the end of our lecture on learning disabilities. Um, here are the references I used for this lecture to prepare it. And thank you for listening. Please like this video and subscribe if you are really interested. And yeah, if you're if you're interested in AP Psychology and further neuroscience related content, please also subscribe because um, we have a I have a YouTube uh, video series on AP Psychology, and I will update the video playlist every day. So please check it out. Thank you.